All right, this is a regular every Thursday. Dr. Bob is here. Welcome back. Heart rhythm disturbances are increasing in the United States. High technology has allowed cardiac catheter ablation. I don't understand that, Doc. Uh, to be a common procedure, though, which is yes, good, and right? you said it perfectly. Okay. This is cardiac catheter ablation. Now, there are increased rhythm problems in both young people and older people. In young people, it's called nodal tachycardia or SVT above the ventricle, fast heart rate, supraventricular tachycardia, yeah. medical words. And then we've got atrial fibrillation. 3.8 million people in the United States have atrial fibrillation, and that's a chronic, irregular rhythm. It can be slow or it can be real fast. Both of these rhythm problems can cause the heart to beat so fast that it doesn't have time to fill and beat so people get short of breath. They, may, they can even go into heart failure with this. So it's very important if people feel fluttering their heart, whether it's a sudden boop, 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 or it just co constantly is wiggling around the chest, that they see a doctor. If it's atrial fibrillation, then we can do cardiac catheter ablation. Now what they do is they run a catheter up the groin they go from one chamber of the heart into the other, and that's where the problem they now can do with three-dimensional. The doctor can see what's going inside the heart, and he can map, he can find out where the excitable areas are, and he can make that catheter, which can have heat injury. It's radiofrequency ablation is what it is. So he can go bzz, Zip, zip, wherever the maps are. And he can actually cause the heart to be have injury and to scar, but it's on the inside layer. It doesn't harm the heart. It's as safe as safe can be from that standpoint. Now, anytime you're talking about the heart, there is some, some danger, but this is as safe as safe can be. The other rhythm problem is called a nodal tachycardia. So that, again, is above the big pumps. It's where the atrium beats and the pathway goes through to the big pumps. It's the AV node that's a pacemaker. And so that AV node can also trigger off young people like Russell, like you, not like me, uh, to have a real fast heart rate. And it may go 150, 170 beats wow. a minute. If so, the heart really doesn't have time. They can do that same catheter ablation. Now, the newest thing is not only can we use the heat to scar and to stop those excitable areas, but we can actually do the same type of catheter and put a cold balloon and cause frostbite in those little areas. Holy moly. So now we've got wow. cold and we've got heat and that can cause the scarring in the areas that was causing the problem and it goes away right there on the table and it stays away 95% of the time. So right with that in mind, if you're feeling that, see your doctor, let him determine what it is, mm -hmm. and then he can decide the very best treatment. Gosh. It's it amazing. Yeah, it right, really right is. option for a lot it of really people, is. for sure. Thanks, Dr. Bob. And you can catch the Dr. Bob Show Tuesdays at 9 p.m., Sundays at 2.30 on 10 News 2, and always here on Thursday. That's right.